experience, everything you're looking for. He's got to have a big game, an X Factor. Deep triple by Drumright, right on cue, and it's all net. That's a great start for their leader. They know that they've been, they're the reigning NCAA OVC champs going against the regular season champs this year. Giga. Roberta's Giga. In and out. But the putback is good by Cunningham. I like to see the assertiveness of Giga. He's too well of a too good of a player. Seven feet, 250 pounds, and going inside the basket. They don't beat you at the three-point line. They attack the rim right there. And off the bounce, that's exactly what Jamal Gregory did. Tough. They saw the highlight dunk yesterday. Step back. Short. Miller is third rebound. Lost the handle. And a chance for three the hard way for Jacksonville State. That was Cunningham. Great guard coming from Murray State with NBA potential. Giga throws up a brick. It'll bounce back out to Hunter. A little stop and pop, and it's all net for 23 and black. That's his game. 15 feet and in. He plays bigger than his 6-2 frame, and he's a glue guy. Already at the two line in the dance, and so perhaps a win tomorrow. Will improve the resume enough to win this tournament as well. They'll square off with Belmont later tonight. They're going to come in there with an emotional baseball bat, being aggressive. Cunningham with six. Hey, no, good for you and good for him. <laughs> back to the basket. Cunningham back to work and off the glass. There you go. Reward your efforts. Jacksonville State at this point, if you just get to halftime trailing by less than 10, I think you would take it. Get it to single digits inside. That's a nice way to get there. Marlon Hunter. Off the nice dime dropped. Well, one thing about JSU, they're comfortable being uncomfortable. That's a good drive, sucking in two defenders and then the extra pass. He's still hungry. Stark nearly with the steal. Hunter off the mark, but the stick back is good. So Marlon Hunter with the deuce. And as their defense goes, their offense has followed. Inside, cross-checking in. He connects off the glass. Nice job by Jakar. They need that. You practice that every day. They have a blocking dummy where you initiate the contact, going into the defender. Under a minute to play, and here's a steal and a flush by Cunningham. So Cunningham now in double figures, A.B., with 10. Yeah, he's just playing. He's just in the flow of the game. Some careers that are ending. Deep triple, short, drum right off the mark. Offensive rebound and the stick back by Hunter. There's your guy again. I, I love them all. He's one. Gregory off the carom, up and under, and nicely done. Good job by Jamal driving to the basket. Let's see if that gets his motor going. He plays well when he's got an angry. This one, we'll get the winner of Belmont and Austin P tomorrow night in the championship. Giga inside, and there's his first bucket. You're seeing the focus and the drive. Ray Harper has not been an outstanding coach to take this program to the NCAA final for the first time ever since they went Division I without knowing how to make adjustments. 20-point lead. Jacksonville State needs more of that in a hurry as Cross connects. Jakar Cross has done an excellent job rebounding. He's got four rebounds. He's got an assist. Tonight, off the mark here. Lead is 16, big possession for the Gamecocks. Gregory connects from distance. Roy, that was a good shot because he's already been in the flow of the game, blocking shots, getting putbacks, and so that was a good, timely three-pointer for him. I thought Gregory wanted that shot instead, goes inside for the easy flush. That's a timeout, yeah, that's a good timeout by Coach McMahon. Jacksonville State in the midst of a 9-0 run to get back in it. Oh, my goodness. Here's Jacksonville State. Nice dish inside and Cunningham the flush. The lead is seven. It has, and it started again. Remember, we talked about the attitude, the disposition. JSU is too good of a team to come out with a soft performance in both halves of the game. But now points in the paint has been dominated. Look at the activity. The Cross down low on QAB. Where has this young man been for Coach Harper and his team? The cross has been the spark the Gamecocks have been looking for in the second half. How about this young man throwing caution to the rim? Come Drum right, one of eight from the floor tonight. Gregory wants it, takes it, and connects!
Here come the Gamecocks. The lead is just six. John Morant has been quiet. Here's a steal. And one. Jamal Gregory. Jamal Gregory is one of those players. Remember when they used to say Michael Jordan and Kobe needed somebody to be angry with? And you're watching the steal here. Jamal Gregory, the lefty, coming in. Oh, there's a turnover and then a weak, silly foul. You make one turnover, you don't want to make another one. All this happening with Drumright connecting on just one field goal. Burnell, little drop step and pivot. The lead is four. That was a thing of beauty, the up and under. Gregory attacking. Strong, almost finished for the tip in. Is good. Burnell snuck in there. The Gamecocks have cracked the code defensively. Another turnover. High off the glass. One possession game. Now, since the 14 minute mark, they've been running a three quarter uh, court press, which has helped them get back into the game. Tie game. Burnell connects. Jacksonville State trailed by 20 points with 13.48 to go. They have tied it up in less than 10 minutes of game time. These two teams split the regular season meetings. Giga checks back in for the first time in a while. Off the mark with a jump hook. Put back is good and a chance for three. Your guy back in the fold. Marlon Hunter with three personal fouls. Biggest basket of the night right there. I don't know if you ever listened to Uncle A, but we talked about this in the open. I said I thought this was going to be an instant classic. This is the reigning OVC champions in Jacksonville State going against the regular season champions. Something has to give. And for the first time since it was three to two, the Gamecocks have the lead.